and Robin Knox Johnson and Sue Haley have sailed non-stop around the world. I'm very proud to be wearing this little badge that says I'm a veteran of this event because there aren't very many people who have finished this race who have started it. And there's only, what, 164 people who sail single-handed around the world, so it's a very, very small club. The idea came up that we needed to run a race around the world single-handed. It had never been done, and we organized this what we called at that time around alone. Once you do start sailing around the world by yourself, you do realise just how insignificant an individual is in the big in the big picture. And when nature turns nasty, it's it is pure survival. You're fighting to stay alive. You know that if you make a bad decision, um, you may not come back again. For me, racing is playing. To go and, and looking for Isabel is, is not a play. <laughs> it's more important, it's much more important. One saved the other, and the values of life took on a new meaning, a real meaning, the values of friendship. I'm at the top spreader. It's taken me nearly an hour to get up here. When you're out there, it's, it's never just a normal day because there's always, you're the only person that is called upon. And in a way, that's part of the challenge. The boat suddenly fell over into a big brooch. And I knew then I was in uh, serious trouble. I literally rang Mike and I said, this is the situation. We would like you to go back and offer assistance. And without any hesitation at all, Mike said, right, I'll do it. My first thing was, you know, thank you very much. And we gave each other a big hug. There's a sort of higher force which drives us to do it and which is certainly driven by the dream of accomplishing something. It is such a big project to sail in one of these races around the world that it becomes part of you. They've made the best friends of my life. We're all equal, ultimately. You know, once we get out there, we're all equal. We all know it.